All right, welcome back. Uh, you hope you're able to catch one or two things there from that fitness uh, session. A lot of what we're talking about today, even from the first discussion into now, would be about um, uh, warnings and uh, telling, letting people know how to take care. A little bit on the dark side, but hey, we need to let ourselves know these things. Coming up from what happened on the third mainland bridge and... Uh, you know, when you have the kind of, you know the kind of car you have, you see how smooth the roads are. You cannot, you should not. There's a speed limit, yes, I know, but a number of people at the beginning of the bridge is 60, middle of the bridge is 80. Yes, you might think that 80, you might see when you're crawling, but there's a reason why speed limits were given. You cannot put a speed breaker on the express, on the highway. You cannot. If it was possible, you probably would probably do, but then, please be careful. Your life and the life of those around you are in your hands. And then coming off of that, just yesternight, you know, yesterday evening into night, we were social media was thrown into a frenzy back and forth concerning um, the passing of uh, actor Junior Pope, and uh, a number of things have come up from that. Yeah. People have spoken, given different thoughts, but what we know from what we saw was that okay, there was a mishap on in that water. We saw the bodies being, you know, brought out from there and he was laid on the ground. And then reported that he was taken to a morgue just after that, instead of maybe uh, a, a, hospital. Morgue, a hospital. And uh, the morgue attendant or whoever was said he wasn't dead. Confirmed that he was. Yeah. yeah. And then we saw another video of some producer saying that they were taking him <clears> to the <throat> river to perform rituals. And the first thing that came into my mind, rituals? You took him to the morgue first, if, they, if there was an issue. Or didn't the first thing be hospital first, even before the morgue? But then we back and forth, and then they said from there they took him to hospitals, and then three hospitals certified him dead and all of that. But there was a report at one time that, oh, he was alive and all of that. You know, everybody was going back and forth and all of that. And uh, I think majority of people agree that this was preventable. Hmm. That's the major thing. This was preventable hmm. because he put up a video of himself the day before going heading to that particular set mm. and then you could see from from what he was saying mm. that the journey was a treacherous one mm. he was talking about taking a risk without he wasn't wearing a life jacket mm. nobody on that boat or as it were was wearing a life jacket and he there was concern for his own life because he made some pronouncements there mm. there was concern for his own life and only for the next day according to reports as he was coming back from that set from the on the set. same river yeah. that was when this mishap happened so, you know, the point is this, it was preventable. And many, a number of accidents are preventable. What could have been done better in this particular case? How could we, as a people, you know, what responsibility do we take for our own lives, as it were? Very sad incidents, and of course, we commiserate with uh, the, entire, the entirety of Nollywood, family and friends, quite a very sad one. Yeah, so but first, what could have been done to prevent yeah, so this? So this question you're asking, I'll probably um, answer from the individual's point, as you said, as an individual, what should be done? So there's, some, there's something, I mean, in life, right, accidents happen. You, we should literally don't know when or how or in what form it will happen, and it's sad. So as much as we pray for, the, for we not to be victims of circumstances, right, we need to also make basic, no, okay, let me not call it basic, right? For instance now, I believe that um, everyone literally has the responsibility to literally learn certain things. Just the same way like everyone literally, when you're growing up, you literally learn to walk. I believe there are certain things you also should learn to do as a human being. And I feel swimming is actually one of them. I actually feel the same way you can walk, mm. right, from one place to another, how you literally know if you have these abilities, right? The same way you should actually be able to swim. No matter, like, at least try. Do you understand? Some people say, okay, fine, yeah, what is, I'm shy, I'm, I'm afraid of water and all those kind of things, right? So, aside that, right, he making that video, under no circumstances should you literally go into a boat without a life jacket. Like, even if you're a good swimmer, you should actually go, like, you're going on a boat, do you understand? Organized by somebody, you actually don't, don't know, like, what, like, what can happen? Do you get, you should definitely request for a life jacket. Do you understand? And of course, we were having a conversation earlier and you asked me, okay, fine, whose responsibility is it to make sure that fine they get from the movie set? So if you literally are, I mean, in production school, they literally tell you there are certain safety things you must adhere to while you are producing a movie. And one of them is making sure that your crew is, is literally transported to an offset in the right circumstances with all safety measures adhered to. So yes, the reason why they were dragging the producer was for that particular reason. 
you literally cannot be transporting people from a location to a location or from, a, from your set to land where they probably from there get to their homes and you don't provide everything needed for them to get there. It doesn't make any sense. Then of course, the people, maybe the, the boat service and all of that. If you are running a boat service, you should have life jackets on the boats. Because apparently it seems like that route, those who ply that route, there are swimmers. no life jackets. They are pro swimmers. They are no life jackets and all of that. And now you see there are some situations um, where I have worked with or I've heard of some multinationals, even multinationals, when uh, they arrange something and they tell you that, okay, they've paid you so much that all they want is for you to come yeah. on set, mm -hmm. then that's where they cater for you. And then once you leave set, they're no longer a re responsibility. Mm -hmm. That happens. I don't know if that kind of arrangement was in place. And even, even if that was the case, right, as a producer, you are literally meant to go the extra mile. If they still teach you in productions, you go the extra mile, especially when, the, when you know there's a dire situation like that and anything can happen. It's your set. Anything that happens, they go back to that movie and literally say, okay, fine, they were leaving your set. You didn't make sure that, fine, whatever transportation was provided literally had the necessary safety measures. I don't know. I just think, I mean, we should just take better care. I mean, he made the video the first day because mm. he recognized the dangers. Yeah. Do you understand? And then it's shocking that the next day you still go on the boat without a life jacket. So, no, no, so, you, so you uh, also a better. second one could have been is his personal, yeah. personally, yeah. What, personally what, of what, what you could have done for insist. your own self at, 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 you know, insist, insist that you get a life jacket life in that jacket. particular place. And if there's no life jacket, probably you don't go. You don't go, yes. You don't go, yes. especially in those kind of situations. I mean, mm -hmm. um, uh, I mean. Bad people talk, talk. Okay. You know, what, what, are, what, are, what are your thoughts about all of this? I know. Um, it, well, you know that this yes, sort I of know. story hits home. Like it, it, it really it, it hits, hits home. Yes, I know. So, and I guess I think that's why I'm being quiet, yeah. um, so that I do not break down, because it's a very emotional one uh, yeah. to think that um, this could have been avoided. Um, I know that we are very used to practice. As a, we, are, we practice a lot of. Um, we don't demand for certain things even in our organizations, because we do not, first of all, we don't know our rights. And it is from not knowing, if, it is from not signing certain contracts that, you know, a lot of things are missing in, you know, in, in, in communication and in due process and due diligence. Um, so f first off, if, what, if there was a water scene or whatever, whether they were going through, through, through whatever, whatever, it should have been demanded that the actors on set, the production crew should have demanded for a life jacket. Even if their life depended on it. If they had to do like a mass action to ensure that they do not get on that boat without a life, with a life, without a life jacket or they are not getting on that scene or whatever, it should have been done. But they shouldn't have gone through that whatever without a life jacket. They should have insisted. So first of all, I think it comes from a place of knowing our rights and demanding for it, no matter the place or, or whatever circumstance, whatever situation we find ourselves. I would not want to talk further on this matter, I'm right? So, yeah. yeah. Uh, so this is, a, this, is a, this is a wake up call to everyone, even in your own workplace, <coughs> where you're working, do you have a first aid box? You know how to administer basic CPR, cardiopulmonary uh, pulmonary resuscitation, as it were. Do you have a basic first aid? Can you treat basic injuries as well in your workplace? Is there a first aid box there? You can go out there, talk to your HR or whoever. Get first aid box, get stuff there to ensure that some things like this that are preventable do not happen. Commiserate with everyone and uh, quite a sad one there. Let's yeah. just take care.